Situation returning to normal in Haryana as the state government announces introduction of bill giving reservation to jats in state assembly and compensation to those killed during agitation. High powered committee headed by Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaiah Naidu holds its first meeting to find ways to give reservation to jats. Budget session of the parliament begins today. President Pranam Mukherjee to address the joint sitting of members of both the houses. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaiah Naidu says that the government is ready to discuss all issues in the parliament. Five JNU students, including Omar Khalid, accused of sedition for allegedly raising anti-India slogans, are present at the JNU campus but have neither been arrested nor have surrendered. Delhi police asks accused students to join probe and prove their innocence. Delhi High Court to hear JNU President Kanhaiya Kumar's bail plea today. The 48-hour-long Pampor encounter has ended with the killing of three terrorists who had stormed into the Jammu and Kashmir Entrepreneurship Development Institute on the Srinagar Jammu Highway. Five security personnel, including two army captains, were martyred in the operation. The process of sanitizing the building is underway. The nation on Monday bid a tearful adieu to the martyrs who died fighting the terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir's Pampor. The mortal remains of Lance Naik Om Prakash was consigned to flames with full state honors. The last rites of Captain Tushar Mahajan was performed with full state honor. The mortal remains of Pavan Kumar were consigned to flames at his native place at Jeend in Haryana. The last rites of Rajkumar Rana was performed with full state honour in his native village, Shimla. Water supply has been restored from the Munak Canal to Delhi after the centre's assurance on the Jat reservation. In the related case, the Supreme Court came down heavily on the Delhi government for approaching the court rather than resolving the issue itself. However, the bench issued notices to centre Haryana and Uttar Pradesh governments on water crisis in Delhi. The first meeting of special committee set up to look into the Jat reservation was held at Union Minister Venkaiya Naidu's residence in New Delhi. The government appealed to agitators to shun the violence, after which further talks would be held to settle the issue. After the meeting, Union Minister Sanjeev Balyan said that the government is making serious efforts to resolve the crisis. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday said that the world is facing several challenges and we should think about what role India can play in overcoming these challenges. Addressing the centenary year convocation ceremony function at the Banaras Hindu University, the Prime Minister said that we should always dream big. He said that it is a very special moment for him to come and attend the convocation ceremony at the BHU. Prime Minister Modi called upon students to work innovatively to bring solutions for challenges facing India and the world. Addressing the centenary year convocation on Monday at the Banaras Hindu University campus, the Prime Minister lauded the role played by the university in its 100 years. Urban Development Minister Venkaiya Naidu on Monday asked the first batch of 20 cities selected in the first round of competition to launch respective smart city projects by the 25th of June this year. Addressing a workshop in New Delhi, Naidu asserted that the smart city competition was completely city neutral, neither favouring nor discriminating against any participant city. Visiting Nepalese Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli on Monday said that misunderstandings between India and Nepal do not persist anymore. Oli termed it as the most important outcome of his first visit to India after assuming office last October. He made the remarks while delivering a lecture in New Delhi. Pakistan confirmed Jaish e Mohammed Chief Masood Azhar's detention. Pakistan Prime Minister's Foreign Affairs Advisor Sartaj Aziz has said that he has been under protective custody since the 14th of January. US and Russia have agreed to a ceasefire date on Syria. Ceasefire will begin from next Saturday. A series of suicide bombs near a shrine in Damascus and in homes have killed at least 140 people on a day the US and Russia claim progress in securing a ceasefire to end the Syrian conflict. The IS claimed it was behind Sunday's attacks in Damascus and homes. India ODI and T20 captain MS Dhoni suffered a muscle spasm in the back during a training session on Monday in Dhaka. The selection committee has named Parthiv Patel as the backup wicketkeeper for the upcoming Asia Cup. According to a BCCI release, Patel will join the team in Dhaka at the earliest as India take on Bangladesh in the tournament opener on Wednesday.